Hello, Year Nines. So, so far, what we've done in our sequence of lessons about plants is looked at photosynthesis and the leaf. And what we're going to do today is we're going to have, pay a little bit more detail, have a look at the leaf in a little bit more detail, in particular the stomata, and then we're going to move on to look at the roots in part two of this lesson. So this lesson is made up of two parts. First of all, it's about the stomata, and then it moves on to the roots. So you had a number of questions to do in your booklet the other day, and here we go. Now, this is the booklet with the answers. So I'm gonna ask you to run through this video and pause it to make a note of the correct answers and correct yours. So if you can just pause now, you should have been able to look at the questions one to eight, correct yours or mark them correct. Now I'm just gonna move on. These are the correct answers to 9, 10, 11, and 12. And moving on to the cross section of the leaf. And then finally, questions 15 to 18. And what you're going to do today is you are going to look at the leaf structure in particular view the stomata and observe the differences between the top and bottom of the leaf. So this is the experiment. It's a nice experiment to do in class, but unfortunately we're not in the lab, so can't do that. So what I've done is I've asked you to follow a link in the PowerPoint and that link will take you to this video here. Now, it's a very good video. It's long at six minutes, but it's worth watching because it takes you through everything that we would be doing. And I think this is a really nice experiment and it involves getting the microscopes out and looking at those little holes in the bottom of the leaves, those stomata under the microscope, and actually trying to work out how many there are. So, And this is what you'll actually see underneath. And you can just make them out here by their sort of oval shape here. So there's one. You can just see another oval shape here. Okay. So the same there. Slightly bigger. Okay. So if you just work through the actual video, it tells you how to measure them as well. Don't get bogged down in this actual complicated maths up here. Just watch the basics and take the basics from it. Once you've done that, that will allow you to complete the questions. Looking at where they are. 20 right through to 23 here. 23 is quite a difficult one. It shows you an image and it shows you some stomata. Now the area of the field of view is 0 0.2 meters, millimeters squared. That's obviously been magnified. And it's asking how many stomata will be on a leaf with an area of 10 millimeters squared. So if this represents 0 0.2 millimeters squared, how many of these do you get into 10 millimeters squared. <coughs> if you can work that out, then that will give you a number. And then you can multiply that number with the number of stomata in this 0 0.2 millimeters squared. And that will give you a, an approximate number of stomata in 10 millimeters squared of a leaf. And it is quite amazing how many there are. So I'll leave you to get on with that and hopefully you should finish at 23 and I'll get you the answers next lesson.